when it comes to immigration, you're, you're an open immigration person. Uh, I tend to be libertarian on immigration with a couple of exceptions. One, I think there should be some real rules about who gets to access the social safety net. Uh, two, I think that you should you know, have some general warmth toward basic American principles like freedom of speech. I don't think that uh, you know, we should be uh, sort of in, uh, let's put it this way, I think that there, there's people come to the United States with sets of pre-existing values, and those values don't always match the values uh, of the Declaration of Independence. But overall, on an economic level, I'm fine with increased levels of immigration, particularly through the legal immigration system. Do you worry that, that increasing the social safety net does have to come with some of the countervailing concerns about immigration that we've seen in other countries? Well, I mean, we have plenty of concerns about immigration in our country, sure. uh, you know, and, and I mean, I think, yes, I mean, like, I think you need to try to address these concerns, right? I mean, my biggest point about immigration in the book is that the value of immigrants and immigration is really high for Middle Eastern Christians uh, and want to bring them into the United States, that they are, you know, minorities in their own sort of. Uh, and yet we seem to have kind of inculcated in people this certain level of expectation that they should be able to continue to live in the town where they grew up and the jobs will simply come to them. Uh, y you talk about some programs for revivifying some of these towns where, where the economic base ha has left. I wonder if you could talk a little bit about those because... Uh